Okay, before we actually start talking about this specific problem, I want to say something about Riemann sums. Uh, Riemann sums, which are these, whoops, that's not, you can't see that, I don't think, which are these, um, they approximate integrals by making rectangles. Now, how the heck do they make rectangles? Okay, let's see. Well, let's see what happens if I draw this this guy out. Um, the first one. Well, actually, I think I don't actually remember exactly, but if I have, let's say I have uh, some summation from, uh, well, I don't know, but I have f of x sub i, and i is ranging from, let's say, let's say zero. I, do, I don't know why. Zero to eight f of x sub i uh, and times delta x and you know what let's give it let's give um, let's give let's give this a made up picture I'm gonna just make up a picture here uh, so if I have a graph that just looks like that and say well, we're going from 0 to 8 so I'm gonna make this 8 4 uh, you know, whatever. Um, say I have this. Here's what's happening here. First of all, uh, if I let this go, I'm the things that I'm plugging in are x sub zero first, right? Because that's when i is zero. And then I'm plugging in. Well, actually, maybe I'll write this. Hold on. Let's see if I can move this. I think I can. What just happened? Oh, I selected the wrong thing. All right. I'm going to move this down here. So I could pause it. I don't why am I not pausing it? All right, let's write down what this means. This means uh I'm summing from f of x sub 0. That's when the 0 starts there. Oh, well, maybe I should have done it from 0 to 7, whatever, it doesn't matter, uh, times delta x, whatever delta x is. And then plus, because the summation, this means, um, it's sigma, and it means adding up. Uh, it means you add up all these terms while you change the i value, change the index. And then f of, I should have done a smaller one, I'm going to do a smaller one, uh, x sub 1 times delta x, and I just keep adding, I'm going to change this, erase this make it four uh, just so I don't have to write as much so that would be zero three I just kidding I'm gonna do it to three all right so f of x sub zero plus f of x sub one well all times delta x but f of x sub two uh, times delta x and finally f of x sub three times delta x so that's literally what this summation means. So it's just evaluating it for all the different uh, x sub i's and writing them all out and adding them together. Now, let's, so let's redraw this, or I'll erase this and this. This would be 0, 1, 2. This is not good. This is not good. No, just kidding. I'm going to make it go to 4. Why am I doing this? You'll see. Or you won't, I don't know. Uh, four. So I have to put another one on here. Plus f of x sub 4 times delta x. All right. Now, I don't know if this is a left-hand summation or a right-hand summation just yet, but we will see. Uh, suppose this is 4. That would be 2. This is 0. So what is happening here? Um, first, I want to say delta x. This is the width of each rectangle. So this, this summation is going to approximate the area underneath this curve from 0 to 4, kind of. Actually, from x sub 0 to x. It's the x value. We don't know. We don't actually know what the x values are. Oh, that's, this is a bad example. We'll see. Um... So we don't know what it, the, the actual x values are. But the delta x is the width of 
of each uh, rectangle. So, what is f of x sub 